before we start writing some real code, I just want to show you guys one thing, and that is if I open this project, it could be any of them, but I'm just going to pick the UI project. I open the folder in the file explorer right here. You'll notice that there are two folders in here, a bin and an object folder. Now these two folders are actually generated when you compile the code. So let's try and build this project. I'm just going to destroy and delete these two guys for now. They're gone. So now there's no program in here right now, meaning I cannot run it until it's compiled because right now it's only source code, right? So it's only this code and the computer can't understand that. We need to convert that code into something that the computer can understand. And that's actually what the compiler does for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to right click my custom app UI here and I'm going to say rebuild, right? Now the rebuild is going to take this code and convert it into computer readable code. It's also going to do something else because it knows that this guy is dependent on the BLL and the entity layer. So if they need to be compiled as well, it'll also do that for me. So if I jump back now to open my folder in the file explorer, you'll see the bin and the object folder are back. If I open the bin folder under the debug folder, under the net core app, you'll see here is all the files it required to actually run my application as a real application. So what do we get? We have a custom app UI DLL file, which is pretty much the console app file that we need. We have the entity app DLL file. We have the BLL DLL file. And we also have the DAL DLL file. Why? Because the BLL file requires the DAL file. <laughs> so that's what it does. But this is pretty much just, I, I just want to show you guys that it's actually building a program for you and saving it under the debug for in the bin debug netcore app folder it actually stores this information so we can now produce a real production ready application if we wanted to we don't want to do that right now but this is actually where everything is stored when you're building something and then we can actually do the run here to just see the application running and right now it doesn't do anything because we didn't put in any code yet so hope that makes sense so remember that everything here is built and we, they are now referencing each other and that's why you're starting to see kind of that one guy when you open the bin folder will also have information about all the other guys because they are referencing each other. See you next time. Have fun.